All right, guys, welcome to week two of level three hustle. Today we did two versions of the sliding door, and we also did a left basket whip with a change of direction. So we're going to do the sliding door first. This one lays the same front the whole time. So we've got and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and one. Exit is where we're going to defer. Inside turn is probably the easiest. So what's happening is there's a good throw out. And one, two, three, and one. I'm going to rotate my hand a little bit to make her square up with the wall. I go two, three, I step behind, and one, so back, two, three, and one. So as I'm going to the left, I'm going behind, so I go to the right, I go in front, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. So followers, when he steps behind, I'm stepping behind. Um, it doesn't really matter necessarily, but this is probably the best. Uh, now rotating. What's going to happen is Lear's, we're going to go in front and backwards and rotate when it follows. And one, two, three, and one. Girls first. Guys. Girls. Guys. Once again, exit where you guys prefer. So when doing this, the very first time the girls go in front like normal. Two, three, and one. Instead of going side leaders, I'm going in one, bring my body forward in front of the slots in front of the girls. So then we go two, three, and one. Now I'm going behind the girls, so now she can stay in the slot again. Two, three, and one. Two, three, and one. Um, we had a couple of issues with the leaders holding on to the followers too much. So you have to let go. Especially here. Don't keep your follower. Okay? So let go after you get her going. She's got her own momentum, so you don't really need to worry about making sure that she's doing where she's supposed to. Um, lots of ways to get out of that. So up to you guys. Uh, now we did basic loop on the left side. So we're gonna go and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. And from this side. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Okay, some important things here. We're going to do this fast whip. Our Jonathan's right hand is going over my head. Followers, I'm going to be breaking forward slightly, right? This is really just changing my direction. Leaders are breaking backwards. My two is straight back. Jonathan's two is coming towards me and starting to come across the slot. Followers, as soon as my foot is down here, I've started to settle my weight on two. Now, leaders, we can rotate. Three. Ideally, followers, I want to get all the way around. My left foot's going to come down on three, and I'm going to be a little bit over-rotated so that we can break and one. And we're just going to roll out and one. So start from here. And one. Two, three. My three is going to straight across the slot. That allows me to stay closer to my followers. I pick her up, go to small, and one. My two is four. I'm starting to curve her body to my left to give her more space for the three. I allow my right hand shift from being down to her shoulder so she has the most comfortable in one. And one, and staring back up two, three, and one. Having the hand on the shoulder out also gives your follower most more space during her rotation. Two, three, so this is fine. And then here, you want to allow that bigger space. You can settle that down here. And one, two, three, and one. And again, there's lots of ways that you can get out of that change of direction as well. So right here's our change of direction. There's other options, but anyway. Um, that's it. Next week we'll be learning a crazy double spin thing and a lost